I'm curious as to know, you know, there's so many human behaviors that have been there around forever. Collaboration is one of them in, this, in terms of this whole sharing. Um, what, what, what other human behaviors are out there that you see will drive the next shift in terms of technology, technology revolution? Your behavior has to either be based on vanity or shame. So, <laughs> right, so if you go to like an AA, AA group, right, I'm trying to stop drinking. Um, you know, there's a lot of sharing, but there is this, you know, that's, that's the shame paradigm. Which is, you know, I, I don't want to come to my group and be the weak person who just wasn't able to do it. So you're trying to avoid shame and you change your behavior. The vanity model works based on trophy and badge collection. So I display all these trophies in my front door so people see how cool I am. Until you can get a behavior to hinge itself to something vanity-based or shame-based. It's very hard to drive it to any direction. So, so when people come up with uh, systems, right? Say reward systems, um, recycling, for instance. You know, how do you reward people for recycling? And you can come up with all kinds of technological gadget to help people make recycling easier. But ultimately, what's going to drive that behavior change at a sure. mass level is going to be either I have some badge of honor to display or I'm going to be shamed into everyone in my neighborhood laughing at me. Until you reach that point, either way, no amount of technology alone is actually going to get an entire city to recycle. Hmm. So that's, that's what I meant. You can continue to come up with technology and, and make people do certain things. They will do it for you know, two days, two months, it's over. <laughs> Thank you.